you talk about the street game a lot, and 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 let's just assume everybody watching this understands what I'm talking about when I say the street life. But rhetorically, you speak in a very refined fashion. Um, it's evident you have a philosophy about everything in life. That's what I get from listening to your music. Uh, seems like nothing is random for you. What was the moment or moments that unlocked your broader understanding? Um, honestly, probably when my pops caught that case, man, and you know, um, we lost, we lost, you know what I mean? Like, my mom was doing drugs and shit, and I kind of like, my, my younger brother had passed away at the time, and I, I ba we basically lost everything. I, I moved in with my aunt type shit for a while, you feel me, until my pops came back home from doing his bed and shit, you feel me? So, I would say that period and that time kind of transformed me. And so like a young, a young dawn, cause I ain't gonna lie, my pop scene wasn't too slick or low with what he was doing. Mm -hmm. I, I remember vividly seeing everything he was doing, you feel mm -hmm. me? Like yeah. as a young nigga. So that shit had an effect on me, you feel me? The way I am, just the way my pops was with women and just the, what he was doing in the streets was crazy. So, you know what I mean? When he got caught up, my life changed, you feel me? Because I went from having everything to, like, just, I ain't had my moms, I ain't had my pops. I was somewhere with my aunt that I ain't never lived with. Yeah. The whole, that's when I went from the Bronx to the Heights, that whole transition. So I would say that that was a time that I, I learned how to do a lot of things, man. I started hustling, you know. I started just doing, getting into the whole street shit, getting in trouble. Just, you know, regular shit coming up in the hood, man, trying to, trying to stay flying, trying to just have a, keep a dollar in your pocket. You feel me? Yeah. Can you, can you talk to me about your actual introduction into the street life? Like the first time stepping out to really handle your business, the, the thought process that was going through your mind before you made that move and the, the steps that it took for you to go from a person who really wasn't getting that busy in the streets to all of a sudden getting money in the streets without incriminating nobody. You know, just certain people, all the cousins I was around, um, certain friends I was hanging around and shit at the time and shit, and that's what they was doing. They introduced me to that that whole shit, you feel me? And I just remember, you know, it felt good having my own money. It felt good, man. Like, honestly, I ain't have to ask nobody for shit. Yeah. So that shit felt good. So I was out there just like, like nah, man, I remember just doing wild shit, man, just reading up crazy and just even bagging up sometimes and just every and anywhere just just to make that flip just to make that sale and you know it feels good now you know not to have to do none of that shit you feel me i'm just really focused on the music right now and, and yeah just trying to do what i do you feel me and, and when you talk about your mother and the struggles that she went through with uh, addiction, have you had a chance to speak to your mom about those difficulties? Have y'all been able to reconcile what went on at that time? Is she doing okay right now? Yeah, she's good, man. She done changed her whole shit. She on her healthy shit. She working out, trying to eat good, you feel me? I don't got no bad blood with my mom because, you know, it was, a, it was a rough time for everybody and everybody handles their shit differently, you feel me? And I was, I was young, you feel me? So it was... It was four of us, you feel me? So I understand it was a lot of pressure. So I don't really blame her. We mad cool. She supports me, you know, and I support hey, shout her. Out to my Dukes, because I seen the yeah. picture of your mom's on IG. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, mom Beautiful. Dukes is looking gorgeous still, man. She's still looking gorgeous. I'm please. looking at her like, is that his sis? Like, yo, yeah, I get that. I get that a lot. Young, man. Beautiful, it's a blessing, man. Hey, salute to moms, man. I like I like that that story. We come out on the other side, and everything is positive. I like that. Was Mussolini season? Was that your first album? Um, yeah, I was one of. I consider my royal for like I said, I wasn't really taking rap seriously even at that time. Mm -hmm. I consider my first real shit was Rap with Dawn. You feel me? That's when mm -hmm. I feel like I really. That was the project that got me in the game. You feel me? That got everybody looking at me and fucking with me. You feel me? I had dropped one record before Farrell Dawn, which was Money Schemes, and I shot a video to yep. it. That is, like, one of my real core, cool, like, fan favorites that just that that record opened up also a lot of doors for me. And that's when I was like, you know what? Let me take it serious. And I came through with Farrell Dawn, and I feel like Farrell Dawn is where I start my, my journey. When was the last time you listened to Mussolini season? 
A while uh, has it been a while, probably. You feel me? It's been. Uh, yeah, I know while. because I listened to it recently, and I feel like you selling the motherfucker project short. Because when I listened to that project, I said, "God damn!" Like you was in some type of zone on that album. The the, the essence was inside you. The artistic creativity was coming out, and it's like when Jordan is like in that zone. Every shot that he take, heat check, heat check. When I listen to that album, I'm like, how come nobody told me about Mussolini season? I think you're sleeping on your own shit right now. I, I probably am. You know, I was real. Like I said, I was early in the game when I really, that was a certain time period also. It was a good period for me. I was me and that's when I decided to take this shit into my own hands. And I was working with a lot of just up and coming producers that was hungry. And we, I was hungry. And I was like, you know, I had just did a song with Benny the Butcher. Yeah, I yes. Where, we did a video and all that. Like all Benny, that. Came, yeah. Benny came to my crib and all that. That shit was crazy. Like, you know what I mean? That's a whole nother story. But that was that that time period. So I was a little bit more motivated and that shit was, you know, it was it was, it was fire. Man, please, it was fire please, project. Bro, let me get you get you and your niggas together, get in the room. <laughs> Let's light the blunts up and listen to the whole album <laughs> so you can remember what the fuck that thing is. Cause I just I'm listening to you say, yeah, I don't really consider that my first joint, but that joint, if we all are out there, go check out Mussolini season is raw. That's coming from me. But you said that's a story for a different time when you talked about Benny. Let's talk about Benny. What the fuck was up with that? Nah, that's just it was just a good like, you know, it was a good feeling of the 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 fuck the fuck with the big bro, you feel me? He was cool because at the time like um that was Griselda, 17. Yeah, Griselda uh, well Griselda had just got what I think Shady. Mm -hmm. So Benny wasn't really as hot as Benny is right now, you feel yeah, me? But yeah. I'm like I'm a core type nigga, you feel me? So me and my niggas, we was like, damn, Benny probably one of the nicest on Griselda. We was listening to Benny going crazy, you feel me? So he came to the hood. Um he had a pop-up shop in my boy's store. So my boy was like, come through Moose and we clicked, you know, we, we chopped it up. He, he came to my, my home studio. He did a, he did the verse for me on the spot. We smoked hella blunts. And then, you know, maybe a week or two later, he hit me. He was in the city. And I was like, yo, let's just shoot the video, man. We just shot the video. And it's just been love, man. I, I bumped into the homie here and there, man. Like, when I'm in special studio or at shows and shit, and there's always love, bro. I, I always tell him that um, from when I, I fucked with him, he just went from a zero to a hundred, you feel me? So, so to see that in real life, like, be like, damn, I was working with, with, with this dude and he just went from zero to a hundred. It's like, bro, th this shit ain't hard, man. This shit ain't hard to do. You just right, got to stay focused, you feel me? Next thing you know, the niggas on Jimmy Fallon, Hype Williams yep. video, like yep. some real yeah, shit. Man. And, um, you know, shout to Benny. <laughs> Griselda's on fire. Next time you talk to Benny, let tell him to come holler at me. I'm, try, I'm trying to holler at the boy. Shit, um, man, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he'll be down, man. Benny's a cool dude. Seems like everybody started knowing who you, knowing who you are right now, right? Um, I'll, I'll be on your IG. You still in the hood, right? Yeah, I'm still in the hood. I'm still real regular, regular. You know what I mean? Regular moves, regular dude. You feel me? So what's it like be, not being able to tour and just being locked up right now? And, you know, your name is starting to pop, but you in the hood and people around you are starting to see that your name is, to, is starting to pop. So what's that like? It's all good, man. Like, you feel me? I, I said, like, everything happens for a reason. I'm not, it's out of my control, honestly. You know, we was on a crazy run, the whole just trust army wave that we had going and, and, and then everybody's individual wave. It was real crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. The shit behind the scenes in, 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 in special studio when everybody like they be, it's been sessions, I'm telling you, it's planned. It's Fred the when Fred the God was still alive, RIP, Fred the God, ben, um, um Benny, um he done had everybody in that studio and the energies. You know, what I mean it was crazy. We was like on a crazy run. That's that's as far as just working and, and the momentum we had. And then the quarantine just kind of like yeah. slowed everything up. You feel me? So um, I'm like, yo, you know what? Fuck it, man. We got to just make the best of it, man. People still need good music to get by through the quarantine. So I'm just like trying to work through through it. You feel me? That's what's up. Um, when I listen to a song like Blue Mellow, I can tell that you actually studied the game. Talk about the rap game. Um, I can tell by the way you flow over the beat. Um, you don't, but you don't emulate the old school style um 
you got your own kind of conversational flow. Uh, was that a trial and error type of thing, or did you always rap like you do right now? Definitely um, trial and error. It's just being in the studio and just, you know, I, when you do something a lot, man, you're going to get good at it and, and you're going to find yourself. That's mm -hmm. the most important thing. I had to find myself as an artist. Like, what did I want? Like, what one, I wanted to know what is it that the people like about me? And then two, um, I wanted to know how to master just something that I'm comfortable with, that I feel good putting out. If, if I'm going I'm to do this, I don't want to sound like nobody. That's one thing people tell me, yo, Moose, you, you got your own sound. You feel me? Yeah. You're not, you, you, you don't sound like nobody. And I'm real big on that. You feel me? Just originality and just bringing a fresh breath of air, like a vibe. I'm not, everybody want to either be like, if you want to be that in categories, everybody either want to be the best lyricist, mm -hmm. best ball for ball, or the best whatever, man. Listen, when you talk about Moose, I'm in, I'm in the cap, put me in, I'm that nigga. I just want to be that nigga, that dude category. Y'all can have all that other shit, you feel me? When I, my music, people have been telling me return of the order, they in the hoopty, but when they turn the album on, they feel like they in the foreign and in the bench listening to the shit. This is like what the fans is telling me, you feel me? So. Just to give people that feeling, man, is good because we need it right now, man. Like, everybody kind of like, I mean, it's been a, a, a rough year, you feel me, for yeah. everybody. It's been a yeah. rough year for everybody. So I'm trying to bring back that, that feel good. Just like, yo, it's going to be all right, man. Let's be, we still going to get this money. We still going to put out good music and life is going to get back to normal real soon, you feel me? So, it's definitely that boss shit. If, 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 everybody know what I'm talking about when you, you know, I got the I got the, the black on black forum with the... uh with the tents myself, smoked all the way out. When you, everybody know you get that feeling, you put some certain jams on, you feel like a boss. You feel like a CEO. This album got a lot of those type of jams on it. So trust me, ride to this one, Return of the Auto, uh, as my man just said. Uh, your beat selection is high level shit. Where did that ear come from? That ear come, that ear came from like, like you said, studying the game and shit, you feel me? Yeah. That ear, I want, like, you know, I ain't start listening to hip hop too early. I'm not like an old head. I can't really tell you about every, you know, the founders and nothing. Like, I'm keeping real. I start, started listening to rap when Cam came out. I mean, Cam yeah. is my Jay Z. Dipset mm -hmm. is my NWA. You feel me? For like, as far as the, 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 the movement and the type city and shit that the feel they had in, in, in the game. But, you know, like, it's just, you know, we're just working, man. We're just doing what we do. So, so you get a dip set, because that's one of my fun questions over here. What's your favorite dip set uh, song? Uh, shit, they got a bunch of them and shit. I mean, l l lately I've been bumping that that uh, gangster music too. You know what I mean? Walk around like I got a S on my chest. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. I mean? And then that uh, you know that that old killer season. I've been I've been listening to that. And I love Max B. Max B is yeah. like. One of my favorites and shit, you know what I mean? I listen to him a lot, Rock Marcy a lot, you know what I mean? I love Rock Marcy. Hey, my yeah. one of I think my favorite dipset song is uh Fight Music. Um, oh, Fight Music is fire. Yeah, yeah. Highlight Space 4-5 on Waste. You know what I mean? That's the shit right there. Um but drop getting back but my four on oh, Mike, but getting back to what you were saying, yeah. um, um I, I like coming from that. That's not real too boom bad, like not not too much old school. So I came across um late, I came across some P Rock, I came across some Law Finesse, I came across some shit that really fucked my whole head yeah. up. I'm like, yeah. holy shit. Yeah. I never I wasn't tapped once I started hearing they type of beats and, and um like Jay Dilla and like it's just a whole different world, you feel me? That's where I got the ear for my production as you were saying like you know for my beat selections and shit. yeah i mean you lucky you're not really around me 24 7 because by me knowing that there's a starting point for you i would just be putting you on to cuts cuts and blow your mind with that shit um, now i got i got my big bro Emilio craig he's cut from your cloth man your okay era, he, he puts me on to a lot of like the food, the, the the knowledge and shit a lot of the rizzas a lot of the wu-tang shit a yes. lot of the Ray Kwan shit built for Cuban link shit. Yeah. Uh, um, and you know, it's good food because you gotta you gotta know your history. You gotta know where this shit come from. You feel me? Absolutely, because a lot of if you a dude that if let's say you wasn't hip to it 
and you out here spitting and then you really think you're doing something, but you had, let's say you never heard Cuban links. That give you only built for Cuban links. That'll let you know, okay, I, I got to step my shit up. That's the only thing that you're going to get when you listen to that <laughs> album. If you were MC, like, okay, I thought I was doing something. Yeah. But now, now you didn't yeah. heard the Holy Grail. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's um, like, damn. Yeah. So Drop Top is a standout cutter on that album, uh, although it, it's a bunch of bangers uh, on that joint. When you listen to a song like uh, Drop Top, do you think you hear yourself at your full potential uh, when you consider the beat, what you did to it, and then the chorus by Alex Good? Does that sound, do you feel like you're hearing yourself at your full potential on a cut like that? Um, At the time, yeah, because, you know, I'm I, it's periods. Like I said, I'm, I feel like I'm only getting better. Like, that's another thing people telling me. Every project, I'm only getting better, you feel me? So I feel at that period in time, that was my full potential, you feel me? Um. And that's my kind of music. Like I said, I like to give people different vibes. I'm not always trying to rap about, you know, shooting and, and, and selling drugs. I like to make feel good music because I, I like to, to have women around me, man. You know what I mean? I don't, if you see my videos, I don't got a bunch of niggas. In my, I got a lot of women around me. You feel me? Like, I just want to be, I just, I, I'm about that life. You feel me? So, and I got to ask you this question. I don't even want to cut you off, but I got to ask you this. I was going to put it on this list over here. And I, I kept going back and forth and thinking about it. I said, I wasn't going to ask this question. You brought up women, so I'm going to ask the question. One of the pictures on your IG is a picture of, <laughs> it's a girl with a big ass booty and your lips is on her booty. Whose booty is that? Man, that's one, that's my, that's one of my joints, man. That's what, you know, one of my, you know what I mean? One of my joints, man. You show me. I, I didn't know she was a video girl or nah that definitely not a video girl. We was at a spot chilling, you feel me? That was a off that was off camera. That was an off day, you feel me? I was, okay. we wasn't shooting we wasn't shooting <laughs> shit. We was just chilling and macking, you feel me? This is what I'm trying to tell you. I like to rap about shit like that. Yeah. You feel me? You, you feel me? Cause there's a, a lot of players out here that just you know what I mean, just want to spend the day in the spot with a nice big booty, you feel me? And yeah. and, and you need rappers like me to talk about it, you feel me? And that's just what it is, man. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling the motherfucking voyeur. Hey. Your thing. So I'm, I'm back on my fun question. Hey, um, <laughs> name two name two rappers that <laughs> name two rappers <laughs> that Lil Nas X is better than. Lil Nas X, man, you wildin'. <laughs> two, you know I, mean? I, I need two names see. that this nigga is better than. He probably he probably better than somebody else with a little in front of his name and shit. You know what I mean? Okay, all right, yeah, yeah. I'm with that. I, I'm with that. Um, besides you, who got the best cover art in the game right now? Mm, yo, I, I ain't gonna lie. My favorite artist right now, when it comes to artists, Huey P. You feel me? I ain't gonna I lie. See you do a lot of your shit. Uh, um, he, and I follow he, him on this, IG. Yeah, this is my first time working with him. He did the whole Return of the Order. Right. First time working with him, but his his shit fire, man. Also, my boy Greg is nice too with it. But they getting creative out here with the artwork. You feel me? It's a lot of fire artwork out here, man. So shit, this is what it's about. We we got to incorporate some art into the music. You feel me? So who's who's as far as rappers whose artwork is impressing you? Um, let me see. Flea Lord be having some crazy Ooh. shit. I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. Flea Lord yeah. be having some crazy artwork. But your artwork uh, was crazy with the with the the one with G four, right? With the the half faces. Yeah, that was like that was both of our uh, um ideas. He he said like he wanted to do uh because um Fabro Dawn was real was like I said was a real heavy album for me so he everybody kind of like when they think of Moose is like you know Pharaoh or some shit for some reason I don't know but um he was like yo he's like yo we gotta incorporate the Pharaoh and then G4 shit is called Fly Family and he always has like a bird or some fly shit incorporated into his art so he so I was like yo bro let's just do the Pharaoh take off you know what I mean we, and we we did you know we do both of them and shit and G4 just came with the with the artwork I was like that was it man now yeah. I mean, so shout out to G Four man, cause he's real, he's he's real CEO ish in his own way as far as what, the way he he lays shit out from the merch to his drops. He's real nice with it. You feel me? So he came through, man, and clutch with the with the fire artwork, man. And we was like, it's a go. 
And then we know, of course, I don't know G4 on a personal level. When I see him on videos, he always looked like he about to move on somebody. Like, it seems like he's the type of dude you might not want to yeah, say the yeah, wrong he, shit to. Yeah, he's like that in real life. I swear to God, to you, he's like that in real life, man. Like, it's like that. That's just G, you feel me? He's, you know what I mean? He's not a, a, he's a cool dude, though, man. He's a good dude, you feel yeah. me? He's a good, solid dude. That's one thing, you feel me? Like, you show that man respect, you're going to get respect right back. You feel me? But, you know, yeah, he's definitely does give he, – he's not a, he's not one of them friendly, approachable type. You know what I mean? He don't he like really, rappers. He don't really like rappers. Like, you know what I mean? He only fuck with the authentic – it got to be real authentic for him to fuck with it. You feel me? Yeah, shout out to G4, man. Um, on Solid White, the song Solid White, you say uh, trying to get it off rap, not off raw. Um. And you talk about cats not wanting to see you win. How difficult is it to, to how difficult was it to make that transition from the raw to just strictly studio shit? It was hard, man, because you know, when you independent, you gotta pay for everything. You know how it is, man. When we do this, you know, this all come out of um, you know, Moose budget, Boys Law Records budget, whoever, you know, is invested into into what we doing at the time, you feel me? Yeah. So for 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 a brother to be like, I'm gonna take my cash that I could go, you know, splurge on some hoes or go get fly with or go have fun with to be like, nah, you know what? I'm gonna use this to do this, do that, and really push my brand to the next level. You gotta, you know, it's a it was just a decision I made, man. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take this rap shit serious, man. Let's see what the, where this goes. And the shit ever since then has been crazy. You feel me? It's amazing what can happen when you move in the proper fashion. You don't, you don't fuck people over, but you put the right shit out into the universe and then you focus your hustle. Good shit will happen. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I tell, that, I tell people that all the time, man. Good business and just being and just moving the right way. Shoot, they, on, on top of your, you know, working for what you want, the universe always looks out. You feel me? Karma yeah. always comes, you know, comes back. You feel me? Real talk. Hey, um... You can only keep one. You can't take them all. Which one do you leave behind? Reese Cup, Kit Kat, Doritos, or Funyuns? Funyuns. We leaving those behind. <laughs> because of the breath part, or do you just ain't fuck with Funyuns? I'm not really a Funyun and yeah, and, and kind of because of the breath shit. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> hey, top five dead or alive. All right, man, I'm going to just give you, mm, that's a hard question. I'm going to give you, like, who I'm really listening to right now. I'm going to okay. say top five. I'm going to, of course, I think Brock Marcy with the pen is top, is, is, is top five. Man. Yes. And I feel like that's another guy that's not getting enough credit for a lot of shit that's going on. You feel me? That's Absolutely. one of the, definitely one of the goats. You feel me? Absolutely. And uh, shout out to that boy. So that's one. I'm going to keep it 100. I mean, people don't look at me crazy. I'm telling you, I'm just telling you who I listen to. Uh, Max B definitely got to be up there for me, man, because I just okay. feel like Max B is just a, a whole wave. And it he was also like a, a breath of fresh air, man. Stack Bundles is up there. I like Stack Bundles a lot, man. I feel like he was trying to do what we doing now back then as far as when everything was going south. He was really just trying to hold down the city and, yeah. and, and put that kind of music out. You feel me? Yes. Um, let me see, you know, um, of course, Big, you feel me? Big is up there. I've been listening to, you know, a lot of Junior Mafia, too, for some reason lately, man. Just all that, that, that shit Big was on, that, the player Big, you know, oh, Big yeah. was on, uh, Big was on, well, he was a, he's a playboy, man. That boy was a pimp, man. So I've yeah. been listening to a lot of Big, um, so that, what, what's that right there? That's four or that's yeah. five? That's four. That's four. And, um, I put Killer Cam in there, too. Fuck it. Okay. Respect. Of course, hold. I could, I could tell you hold, Nas, you know, those are, yeah. of course, those are, uh, of course, but I'm just giving you who I listen to. You yeah, it's so many. Every time you you ask about the the top five, top ten, somebody always get left off. Like, if I, if yeah. I, that's why I don't like typing it online, because somebody will ask me, I'll start typing shit, and they be like, yo, you forgot about Black Thought? I was like, nah, I didn't forget about Black Thought. Yeah, he in my top ten, too. Like, you know what I mean? It's just so many great lyricists, you know what I mean? But I just like to get a vibe for who people was listening to. Yeah. Um, let me ask you this. This might throw you off, but I need an answer to this. What's wrong with Kanye West? 
Shit, I don't know, man. Kanye West, man. I don't know, man. Kanye West. Shout out to Kanye West, man. You just need... I don't know what the fuck the nigga doing. I don't know if he's on some type of drugs or it's the, the coochie, the kitties getting to him. Is I don't it, know, man. Is the Kardashian family, they got, they got evil powers, the Kardashians, you think? I don't know, man. I, I honestly, you, he, he changed, man. He changed since, since, since that movie, you feel me? He hasn't been the same gay, so who knows, man? Yeah, I got you. So your first post on IG, the first one I saw, and I think it's the first one on your page, is all the way at the bottom. Uh, is you visiting the cemetery? Uh, it said you lost somebody that you say was your brother. Um, if it's something you could talk about, can you tell me who was lost and what that loss uh, has has meant to you? Oh uh, yeah, that was my younger brother and shit. He, he passed away in his sleep one day and shit. You know. Mm. And that, was my, that. that was yeah, that was my boy, man. You told me we came. You know, it's my my little brother, man. He used to. Ball, all my clothes to wear, you know. We used to play ball, you know. He, he, when I wrote my first rhymes and shit, he told me them shits was fire, and you know, little bro shit, you feel me? Uh, getting in the face for, for, for the nigga, you feel me? So it's just, you know how it is. You got to keep it moving though, back. But yeah, I did lose one of my younger brothers and shit. How long ago was that? Um, it was a while ago. It okay. was definitely a while ago. Probably maybe about ten years ago or some shit like. Got that. you. Okay. And thanks for talking about that. Your 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 merch game is fluid. Um, talk to me about how you approach the branding and embracing raising capital outside of spitting bars. Um, it's a lot. You know, I got a lot of fans. I got a lot of real, real, real fans. Mm -hmm. Like with me, my shit is not as you said. Like my views is not where it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. The 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 audience is not as big as supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But it's a real core cool audience that I got. So mm -hmm. they always asking me for shit. You feel me? They in my DM asking me for CDs. They, they in my DM asking me for vinyls. They in the DM asking me for all kind of shit. So as a businessman, you got to know supply and demand. You feel me? You got to know what the, you got to get the people what they want. So that's what I've been doing. Just finding ways to incorporate, you know what I mean? Just the artwork with the clothing, with the CDs, with the vinyls. And, and just branding myself like that, you feel me? And actually, it's been working, man, because that's how, you know, that's how I've been eating, man. I've been fortunate enough to go from, you know, doing this shit as a hobby to actually making money off this yeah. shit, you feel me? A lot of niggas can't make that transition real talk. So I, I, I pick up a lot of game, you feel me, being around certain people, and I apply that. And since I've done that, it's been game over, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Who was that, that 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 person blowing the horn out there? They was sound like they was real close to you. Was that nigga still there? Nah, nah, that nigga ain't there. You know what I mean? All right, because I want to thirsty wanna, ass. I really wanted to talk to that. <laughs> 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 I know you be you be out though. I was on your one day. You went. I don't click when everybody go live all the time. Sometimes I be like, I'm not going. And some names that you know too, they go live a lot. And I be like, I'm just, I'm not gonna do it right now. You went live one day. I was like, oh, Moose going live. I said, boom, turn it on. You was. In the middle of the street, leaning on a motherfucking car, you had a homie with you. I don't know what mission y'all was on. I was, y'all was just doing something, fucking around, maybe going to get some food. But you really be out there like that, know what I mean? I be everywhere, man. I be everywhere in the city, man. Yeah, I it hear that is, nigga is. blowing that horn again. I might have to talk to him. Hey, um, which one of these movies teaches the best life lessons? Friday, Minutes to Society, or Training Day? Shit, I would I would probably say training day. Hmm. Okay. I would agree. I would agree. see they go that nigga. Who is that, yo? Nah, that's just yeah, I'm in the I'm on the strip. I'm on Dykeman on the strip, so it's just like, you know. You can can you show us that or no? Yeah, I can show you that. Hold up. Let's see where you at right now. I'm on the main strip on Dykeman. Feel me? Oh yeah, we really out here. Yes, that's what the fuck. You know me? This is little Dr. This is what they call little Dr. Everybody out here kind of like Dominican and shit. <laughs> okay, that's you why. Feel me? So yeah, this is where you come get the the the, the good piff, the good. You know all the good stuff that these rappers be talking about when they talk about copying a song and and tato and this and the third. That's this is where they gotta come. They gotta come up town to get this. Right, <laughs> right. Got you. Okay, so I've got one more question for you. Um. Do you have a five-year plan or a 10-year plan? What do you see on the horizon for the Mussolini brand? 
Um, I see me eventually, you know what I mean, merging and doing big business if it makes sense with a, you know, with a, with a label, with a big label and shit. If okay. it makes sense, you feel me? Yeah. Um, definitely trying to do, trying to do Hollywood, trying to get into some movies and shit. Um, you, you was just doing some acting. What was you? Yeah, was I was just doing some acting for like. I think it's like a Yo Gotti video. Don't quote me on it, but it's one of them mainstream videos. They needed one of the, the directors was he's tapped into what we doing. He's like, Yo Moose, this might be a good look for you, and, and you know you'll get paid for it. So I was like, You know what? Let me just start making my acting debut now, early, getting my resume right. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Cause that side money don't hurt. You feel me? Yes. Yes. So I'm trying to do that, and um, eventually I'm just really trying to run my label and and put out other dope artists and just keep feeding the culture, you feel me? And, and helping this shit really come back. Cause I'm listening to a lot of, of dope, dope artists that, you know, when I get in position, I will want to help out also to push, you feel me? Cause this is Absolutely. what it's all about. You feel me? The same way the big bros is helping me and pushing me to get to a certain level. When I get there, I got to do the same, you know what I mean? For, 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 for the real shit. You know I mean? Another thing I wanted to say, Mike, I don't know about you if you're going to agree on, on this, but also, like, I feel like rappers that's on, that's in position, right? Stop putting your boys on the rap that can't rap, you feel me? Let them Thank do you. something else. Let them do something else behind the scenes. And you, they can still eat with you and, and do something else for you behind the scenes. Leave the rap shit for the true talent, man, that you might come across. That's not your boys. That's not your friends. But it's the fire shit. It's the right shit to do. You feel me? That's just I agree. something I Listen, wanted to put out there. You feel me? Stop I'm, putting, you know what I mean? Stop putting these trash niggas in position, man. I'm glad you said that because, and even some people that we all know, and I'm not going to say no names right now because I got so much respect for everybody that's doing shit on the East Coast that I, I, I feel like I don't want to go against nobody. But I agree wholeheartedly with what you said. It's a thousand different things to do with in entertainment, business, and music. You don't always got to be a fucking rapper. You could go, you could say, LeBron sent his niggas to fucking college. And now all them niggas is the executives of LeBron's company. So get out there on that street team shit. Get your um your marketing game up. If your nigga's good on IG, tell him to get on the fucking marketing shit. All type of shit he could fucking do. He could go scout other artists for you and shit like that. You know what I mean? But you're exactly right. It's a lot of niggas that they putting on that don't really deserve to be on the fucking mic. And you wasted my time because I'll see something like so-and-so when he come from this camp. I'm like, yo, let me click this shit. And I click it, you right, it's garbage. Right, stop that. Stop that. Yeah, it's a lot of yeah. niggas right now that's actually, that's known. And some of you niggas ain't stepping your game all the way up. And, you, and sometimes you be in the DMs a little bit. Um, no, nah, man. Listen to your favorite yeah, artist and compare yourself to that nigga and then come holler at me. Because just because y'all on this <laughs> wave right now, because y'all done decided to latch on to this East Coast shit, that don't mean your ass is hot, bro. Don't mean that. So yeah, everybody, man, we don't, we don't want to, you see the same way the trap is congested and everybody sound like, we don't want to do that now that, that this is coming back, man. So let's just put the right people in place, man. That's why I'm like, I'm so heavy on my sound. I just don't want to sound like anything. I, yeah. in no type of way. Don't compare me. You know, when you hear my record, I just want to, damn, that's Moose. That's like a Moose vibe. That's a Moose song, you feel me? Yeah. Something that you got to come to me to get, you feel me? That's right. Because if you could go anywhere else to get it, then why would you want to fuck with, with me? You know what I mean? Like, come, come to Moose to get that shit, you feel me? That's exactly right. And you is in a category of your own. I will attest to that. You definitely got my, for whatever it's worth, you got my fucking stamp for sure. Um, and then the before I get out of here, I'm going to list these projects over here. Uptown Bandits, Pharaoh Dawn, The Godfather 4. I lost him real quick, but I'm going to keep going. MSG, Summerfly, Mussolini Season, and the brand new release called Return of the Oro. Um, that joint is fire. Mussolini, thank you so much for blessing us with your presence today. I really appreciate the conversation. For me, it felt like a fantastic interview, and I don't do nothing but wish you uh, all the success and blessings in the world, sir. Thank you. Hey, yo, likewise, bro. Like I said, man, you 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 remind me almost of uh, what Combat uh, Jack was trying to do for the culture at the time and shit. You feel me? So, and he's a legend, man. So that's big shoes to fill. Yes. You, you feel me? You you you're definitely on your way, big bro. Keep doing what you do. We appreciate you also. You feel me? Oh, thank you so much.